Here it is, guys. I blame the Otaku's Den over at the uh, Facebook groups for hooking me on the uh, Gundam kits uh, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Got this box straight from Japan, which makes it really cool and extra special in my opinion. And I'm looking forward to saving this box. So yeah, you get all these fun little pieces. Sorry about the noise. All these fun little pieces to assemble. And of course, the uh, instruction booklet. Because if you're gonna build a Gundam, you gotta go OG, man. It's, it's, it's like a rite of passage, right? I wanted to try out this one first because it's a lot simpler than all those high-grade, high-master, super-duper thingamajigs that people like. Some uh, images right there. Oops. I believe it's the same. No, it's not the same. There's some Japanese info right there, which uh, I assume it means that this is a Gundam. So there you go. Let's build this. So with that piece assembled, it's time to paint this thing. I have the awesome luck of getting the one small tiny kit that requires you to paint stuff. So let's try and do this. Okay, so final thoughts on this uh, wonderful quote unquote experience uh, painting this freaking thing. I made the assumption that it was gonna be painted. I had no idea. And when I opened the thing, as you saw through the slideshow, you had to paint the thing. Fortunately, it's a rare, uh, well, it's not a rare item, but it's a rare occurrence, I guess. The description where I bought the place did not state whatsoever that you had to paint the thing. So yeah, I had to get some paint and do this horrendous paint job. I am, I don't paint. This is not a thing I am good at. Uh, I don't have the steady hand to paint the thing. So it looks like trash. I, I understand that. And if you want to make fun of it, I really don't care, but I like the way it turned out. It, it's sort of that, um, my friends called it 70-ish, you know? It, it looks like came it came out of 1979 when the OG MSG first debuted. But regardless, it's fun. I love the idea of putting this thing together. And it's a super rookie, like newbie entry level uh, Gundam piece. It's only like five inches tall. There's the shield and the beam rifle. And uh, the paint is uh, leaves much to be desired. But I love uh, the colors and how it turned out. I think it's a fun piece. And I do have uh, a red Zaku coming in that matches the scale to this one. So I kind of just want to leave those two uh, dueling it out. Amuro and Char and all that stuff. I just sort of make that little display. Oh, and here's a quick look at the uh, 
saver. Guys, if you like this sort of content and you actually wanna see me build like an actual Gundam, like that one in the background with other kits, let me know if this is something you would like. Obviously no painting required, please. This was already traumatizing enough. So thank you uh, for liking, commenting, and subscribing to this channel. I will catch all of you on our next episode. Thank <laughs> you.